now we can start with the Likert. Shall we go ahead? <coughs> Rensis Likert, while working for his uh, MPhil, he gave a simple, very simple observation. If I will ask her which newspaper you read, Times of India, Hindustan Times, Bhaskar, etcetera, and she says I read this, it is okay, it is a fact. Okay. But if I will ask you, if I will ask how do you like, uh, what is your relation with your guide or guide corporates, strongly agree to, strongly disagree or something like that. Now is it a fact or an opinion? Opinion. opinion. Likert said such a simple thing, he said while seeking opinion, ask the same thing from the same person in more than one ways, it is as simple as that. Ask the same thing from the same person in a different number of ways and if the person gives almost similar results, the person is telling you truth. Okay. Now when we talk about the reliability, please tell me what is your concept of reliability? Okay. Correct. Hmm. What that means? Give any example. Like uh, the person who is performed, I mean, uh, the fifth standard to eighth child was second and fifth, the rank was second, and in sixth also it was second. So, consistent performance. Okay. But uh, what the example is given in the books is my weight is 60 kg, okay. I go and check it is a 60 kg, when I check it again it is 60, it is a reliable instrument. The second thing is my weight is 60, I know that the machine is saying 55, it is not valid, it is not telling me the truth, but when I check it again it says 55, 55, it is a reliable. My question here is that while going for questionnaire method, have you gone to the same person again, then how can we check the reliability? Anybody come to you again that I wish to check the liability? So, it means there must be more than one method of liability. So, what the method they are saying that is correct, but that is not what we are using is, this is separate. So, there are various methods of liability, one is called the test retest which they are talking about and one method we talk about is internal consistency. Now, what is the consistency instead of going to the person again and again? In the one shot, I will ask you the same question in a number of ways. Now, let me tell you one thing, take an example. This example is of how do you like math? So, one question can be I ask how do you like math and you say very much, okay, this is one answer. But the Likert said, please ask it two, three, four different ways. So, I say I like uh, numbers, I like equation. I like tables, I like formula, strongly agree, strongly disagree. Now here we will get all the answers, what is liability, why Likert statement is uh, interval measurement, the third question was, uh, the third question, okay, we will come. We got 2, 3 person person A comes, A says, uh, so this is neutral, something like that. A person says, ticks here, what is your analysis about A? What is his liking towards mathematics? Likes math, right. Then we ask the second person B, B says like this, do not like math, right. Now, there is a third person C. So, C says I like numbers, I like equation, tables, yes, yes. Tell us whether this person C like math or dislike math. Now, if we pause for a moment here and if I am, I got uh, some permission to query this person, I will ask, I like numbers strongly agree and I like table strongly disagree and table contains numbers. 
I like equation yes and I like formula no and formula contains equations or equation contains formulas etcetera. How is it possible? What I will say you are not consistent in your reply. If you are saying I like number equation then I expect it to be here. It might be that uh, we are not robots uh, that all the time it is a strongly agree you may say agree you may get neutral to the maximum, but how can you be disagree to that it is not possible. Does that mean if I know about the one statement can I make a random guess about what is next to come? If all of them are unidirectionality means there is no negative this is the first point before it is the uh, data processing part there must be all the statements on the same all like there should not be any dislike or I hate like if are this if say I like numbers it means the person is going to reply should reply in this zone yes, sir. Okay. it means this comes as when one and this particular thing are called as the construct now there are two three things number one when we talk about the math math talks about only four things there is no other thing if you say no there is a trigonometry there is a algebra there are other things I will say it is content invalid validity is what about the instrument whether you are the instrument which you are measuring content coverage is correct or not that is the validity. So, validity got three points content validity construct validity and concurrent validity. I will come to that, but this was this. The second thing is whether the content coverage is okay or not, all are like this. If you know one, you can go for the others. So, I will say no, this person is not telling me correctly, I will discard it and the reliability will go down. So, when we talk about it, it is entire three persons are there, the story of three person. One is Likert, second is uh, Kronbeg and uh, third is nevertheless Carl Pearson. These are the three person who are associated in the entire story. So, Likert said like this, Likert said makes sense and Likert said well see my name is summated rating scale. So, first look for there are two sort of scales rating scale and the ranking scale. Ranking scales are you rank the following and rating scale is there is an intensity level you make a tick mark it is something like this it is a rating scale. Second he said it is a submitted rating scale submitted rating scale means if one person goes reply like this. So, how will you go for data entry data entry will be 1 2 3 4 5 and in excel format even if you do not know just let us start respondent number 1 statement 1 2 3 4 will enter 1 1 2 2 and get its total it comes out as 6. Respondent number B was here. So, respondent 2 it is 4 4 5 5 total will be 18. If a person takes all of them what can be the minimum number a person can get total minimum total will be 4 and maximum total can be 20 take the average it comes out as 12 in very raw form in very raw form if a person total score is less than 12 we will say the person like math and more than 12 person does not like math do you agree in a very raw form then going further 4 to 8 the person likes extremely 8 to 12 person has some positive feelings 12 to 16 person have some negative feelings and 16 to 20 extremely negative feelings right my point is my question is a is the person who ticks like this the score is 4 and B is the person who says agree and this his score is 5. What is your interpretation about B's liking for math? B like or not? A, A ticks on these 4 total is 4 B ticks on this and 3 total is 5. So, what is your B likes math or not likes, likes almost to the same extent? So, basically here comes a assumption, assumption is and it is our interpretation 4 to 8 all people highly like the math though they differ in themselves, but I assume no, no it is ok we let us club them and it is a human property we always club the things it is not possible to take individual cases. So, we will say 4 to 8 all are the same 
8 to 12 all have a mild liking, mild disliking etc. Now, next time when we go for representing it on chart, will it be histogram or will it be bar chart? It should be histogram. Can normality be there? Yes. May be there. Can we apply t test etc? Uh, yes, yes. yes. So, when it comes summation of the Likert scale that is called as the interval measurement, not the individual statement. Look a very minute difference. If you work on this, I will still say it is a ordinal measurement. Why ordinal measurement converts into this? Because we reside on a hypothesis an assumption, assumption is the person having 4 or 5 or 6 are roughly the same, roughly the same. So, we will say okay, this particular thing now becomes as a continuous one, this is continuous. So, t test etcetera are applied on the summation of the construct and this is what the Likert said. Likert said my scale is summated rating scale, summating rating scale means you take the sum and then make the interpretation on the basis of it. What you subject to later on factor analysis etc. there are other issues, but what we are concerned is Likert said something, but how can Cronbeck give a guarantee that if alpha comes at more than 0.7 then it will be reliable. Like I am doing a study in my country how Cronbeck sitting in some country can tell my case is reliable or not he is telling me how it is possible. So, what exactly is the Cronbeck alpha let us try to understand that what actually is alpha. <coughs> 